What's up, guys? Petman here, Carolina Varsity. Uh, flying solo this week for uh, this week's videos. Uh, starting out here with the best to last from the top to the bottom. Here we go. Number 22, Garinger. Uh, still in the same place. No change after losing to Marvin Weirich, 41 to 7. Um, not much to say with, with Garinger here. Uh, 21, Porter Ridge. No change as well. Uh, lost to Olympic, 42 to 7. Uh, they were playing well. They played Sun Valley Tough, who's played some uh, other teams uh, here in Charlotte Tough as well. But um, kind of disappointing for them to, to kind of lose to Olympic in the manner they did. Uh, number 20, Hopewell drops a spot after losing to Davie County, 41-18. to uh, Hopewell has been competitive in, in some games, but um, and this one didn't seem to, to play as well uh, with a Davie County team that's been struggling in their own right. Uh, number 19, Harding had a bye, but they do move up a spot as a result of uh, Hopewell moving down. Uh, number 18, Providence. I dropped Providence down uh, five spots after losing 21-14 to East Mech, and it was just the the impressions that I got. Uh, you know, they're still working through some things offensively. I think defensively they're not bad, uh, but uh, losing to East Mech in that way. East Mech was up 21 nothing before Providence scored a couple touchdowns late in the game. So... You know, that, that's where I feel like they are right now. Uh, number 17, as a result of the uh, Providence win, East Mech moves up two spots. Um, 16 is a West Charlotte. They lose 52-44 to 44 against Barry. They move down one spot. Uh, they really were dominated in that game. Uh, they were down 52-22 with three minutes left before um, subs came in for Barry, and um, they were able to take advantage of that and make the score a little closer. But um, West Charlotte played well against South Point. Uh, I was thinking they were starting to come into their own, but then, you know, Barry kind of, uh, I guess, exposed them in some ways again. So that's where they sit right now. Um, number 15 is West Mech. They had a bye, but they move up a spot as a result of other teams moving down. Uh, 14, a big mover up is Olympic. They move up three spots with an impressive win over Porter Ridge. It looks like their offense is starting to get going. The defense is still playing well. That's a good sign for them going into conference play. 13, Rocky River. Even though they lost 27-23 in North Mech, I'll move them up a spot. Um, they're playing. Obviously, they're starting to play a little better. Uh, North Mech is a pretty good team. They had that game. You know, they had to lead with... <laughs> About three seconds left. It came down to the last play. So, you know, Coach Fowl is starting to get Rocky River going in the right direction, which is good to see. Uh, number 12, Independence, uh, losing 41-20 to Vance. Uh, moved down a spot. Moved Barry up a spot to number 11, almost in the top 10 with their uh, win over West Charlotte, playing well. Uh, they got a big game coming up against uh, Catholic we'll talk about here uh, down the road. Uh, top 10, number 10, Myers Park. Uh, win over Sun Valley, 31-24. Uh, no change in their ranking. Uh, I thought they might win a little bit more than that, but, you know, win's a win. And going into conference play, that, that's what you need. Get ready to get into playoff position. Uh, number nine, North Mech. Spoke about their win earlier. Uh, they're 4-1. Uh, look, looks like they're having one of those special years up there. Uh, hats off to Coach Baker and the Vikings. Number eight, RJ Kill had a bye, no change in their ranking. Uh, number seven is Huff. I dropped them down two spots, losing 35 to three to a very good Butler team. Um, though, even though Huff lost the way they did, I still thought they showed, you know, pretty well. You can obviously see why they were undefeated. They have some abilities on both sides of the ball that will do well in a uh, tough Mecca conference coming up. Uh, number six, uh, South Mech had a bye, uh, no change there. Number five, A.L. Brown. Um, actually, excuse me, number six, South Mech, they actually move up a spot with the bye. And A.L. Brown moves up a spot to number five with the bye as a result of Huff dropping down two spots. Apologize for that. Uh, top four, no changes. Number four, Catholic had a bye. Uh, they got a big game coming up with Barry, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, three, Butler with the win over Huff. Uh, no change. Number two, Vance with their win over Independence. Uh, still having some penalty issues. Um, and Coach Brand continues to harp on it. Um, they're in a tough conference with our number one team here, Mallet Creek, with an impressive win, showing their depth. Um, they had some guys out that were injured, and the backups came in and played well uh, with their win 28-7 over McDonough from Maryland. So, you know, that's our best to last uh, for this week. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing, 
conference previews for each conference breaking it down where I think the teams are going to f- um, kind of fill out here and, and who may make the playoffs in the, in the projections based off of what we've seen in the pre-conference schedule. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching.